Right, in this question, we are given a function g of x is equals to the log of 1 half x, right? We need to determine the equation of g to the negative 1, right, which is the inverse of our function g of x, okay? And because this is a logarithmic function, we can use the notation of an inverse function, right? Because the inverse of this log is a exponential function, right? Okay, so let's find the equation of g inverse, right? So remember that with inverses, right, you have to just swap your x and y values around and then solve for y, okay? So let's make things easy for ourselves and let's start off our solution by saying let g of x equal y, okay? Just so that we can see the y and the x that we are going to be swapping around, okay? So we'll have y is equals to the log of a base uh, of one half x, right? Then now we're going to swap x and y around. Okay, so that will give us x is equals to a log of a base one half of y. Okay, now we need to solve for the variable y okay so when we solve for the variable y okay it's basically going from log form right to exponential form okay so to go to exponential form you just write down your base okay so the base always remains the same okay the base in exponential form is the same as the base in the log form okay so you write down your base right and then your exponent, right, is basically in this direction. Okay, so that will be your exponent, right, x. And all of this then ends up becoming equals to what's inside of the uh, logarithm. Sorry. Right, so that is y. Okay, so now you've solved for y. Okay. Now, because... Um, this is an exponential function. We can now rewrite this, rewrite using functional, uh, functional notation, okay, which is this notation over here where you put this negative one on the name of the function, okay. Um, you can't do that if the inverse is not a function. So, for example, with your parabola, if there's no restriction on your parabola, right, then you can't use this uh, functional notation of g to the negative 1, okay? Right, but in this case, it is a function, right? So, we're going to rewrite this equation as g to the negative 1 of x is equals to 1 half x right oh wow okay right so there is also another way to write this okay you can rewrite this as g to the negative one of x is equals to bring that two up right when you bring it up it will have an exponent of negative one we still need to multiply that with an x Right, so g to the negative 1 or g inverse is equals to 2 to the negative x. Right, so that's another way to write the equation of your inverse. Right, now let's quickly talk about these two functions quickly. Right, um, with this one, right, we have a logarithmic. Um, sorry, I can't speak today. <laughs> so with this one, we have a logarithm, right? So the base of our logarithm is between 0 and 1, okay? So now remember that for the log, right, sorry, um, x, y, okay? So the logarithmic function always has the y-axis as its asymptote, 
right now um, when the base is between 0 and 1 right then I'd like to think of it as it sits basically on um, the positive side of the y-axis so this is what I mean it sits like this okay then it starts to increase going that way right so it sits do you see how it's like sort of like flat against the positive x-axis yeah so to me it looks like it's sitting right so that would be the sketch of the uh, of this function and remember that that point is a point one zero okay now if we had to sketch the inverse function right so this is the graph of g right if we had to sketch the inverse function right so g to the minus one on the same set of axes right we have a exponential function right and you can see from here that the base is between 0 and 1 okay so which means that you have a decreasing exponential function right now a decreasing exponential function does the same thing it um, sleeps or sits on the positive x-axis right so it would look like this on the same set of axes um, it would look like this it would decrease uh, and it would then have an asymptote of the x-axis right so an asymptote at y is equals to zero okay remember that that line is y is equals to zero okay so if about that top part right so okay does this look better yep that looks better all right so this blue uh, graph is g inverse for this specific question right because the uh, function g was a logarithm right and this point here is basically this coordinate right with the x and y values swapped around so that's a coordinate at 0 1 okay and these two points are very um, good to know right and if you watch my videos on YouTube you'll know that I call these two points critical points right so for the exponential function it has a critical point at 0 1 right or just at a y-intercept of 1 okay and the logarithmic function has a critical point at uh, 1 0 okay so these two points are very nice to remember especially if they start to transform these two graphs so maybe let's say they move it some unit um, to the left or some unit to the right okay then you'll be able to concentrate on this point and see how this value of 1 changes as you move it to the left or you move it to the right okay and these two are basically sure you can see it right they are just an uh, reflection right about the line y is equals to x my y is equals to x is not sketched so nicely okay as you can see that when you reflect this right this part of the exponential function that is decreasing right that will go below the x-axis over there right and then this part where it's sort of like going flat right that will go up like that okay so I hope that helps basically the question just asked us to um, give the equation of the inverse function that's the equation of the inverse function so you can write it like that or you could just write it like this right you can stop here or you can go to that point right